rich in resources. And so what I worry about the, is the extraction of research uh, from these, uh, from these um, reserves of heavy crude oil, uh, light sweet crude that was discovered off the shores of Guyana, uh, the largest growing economy. 25% GDP is anticipated for Guyana over the next five years. Um, you have 60% of the world's lithium in the lithium triangle, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, uh, and copper, gold. We have the Amazon, so the resources are so rich. And when you look at the strategic competition globally, but then also in this hemisphere, uh, you want to make sure that, that uh, things aren't adversaries and strategic competitors aren't trying to go there for nefarious reasons to extract. Uh, this hemisphere has the potential to feed and fuel the world. I say that again, to feed and fuel the world. But when you talk about the, the agriculture and the fisheries, by 2028, Latin America will have 25% of the agriculture and uh, fisheries in the globe. You know, who knew? So we should be talking about the potential of this hemisphere, and then economics. So been working very, very hard on the economic side of the house. U.S. companies, what are their barriers to outcompete? We need to raise the profile and the branding of Team USA for our companies. So bringing all of these things together, how can we do that better for Team USA as part of Team Democracy in this hemisphere? <clears throat> all right, Shalom. This is Gamal Ayala of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemiel by Shai by Shemakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. It's a quick lesson. And um, this is going to go into, uh, it's going to be entitled Greedy E. And, um, you know, uh, as you saw on the video, all right, uh, the lady was basically saying, you know, they have their eyes on Guyana uh, and uh, other countries in Latin America, you know, for their resources, their uh, lithium. What else? Uh, their lithium. Uh, 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 and their crude oil, you know, different, you know, all those things now. Um, that's the nature of E. OK. And she I don't know what role she plays you know i don't know what her position is you know but she seems to be pretty high up but uh you know she basically represents uh capitalism you know and esau she's representing america and she's saying that you know they 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 need these things man they, they gotta build you know they, they gotta basically get their hands on you know, on um, on these different resources in within uh, the Americas, you know, and that's why that's what makes Esau greedy, because he's, it's never enough. Just like um, matter of fact, I'll keep going. I'll uh, go ahead and get a precept. Um, I'm gonna start with this actually. Job twenty. Because it goes into uh, his fullness. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right. Um, I'm jumping out to 18. It says, That which he labored for shall he restore. And he shall not swallow it down According to his substance Shall the restitution be And he shall not rejoice therein Now restitution is A payback A payment you know made In return for somebody taking something Alright But it says that, for, that which he labored for Shall he restore So he's going to restore all these things That, that he has uh, You know uh, Taken it says, verse 19, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. And these are all, you know, in comparison with America, these are all, you know, poor considered. I won't say poor, but, you know, they, they're not. Um, they're not all, all of them are not thriving economies. OK, 
You know, I mean, when you look at the, and the, the reason why is because, you know, when you uh, uh, compare, when you compare their dollar to, when you compare their dollar and match it up next to uh, the American dollar, all right, you know, our money is worth way more. You know, it says, uh, and I won't say our, I'll say America. <laughs> Let me not, you know, speak in a, in a, um, inclusive way, but, uh, it says that because he had taken away, he had violently taken away an house, which he built it not. Yeah. So he didn't, he didn't have nothing to do with those resources. He didn't till that ground. He didn't, you know, um, uh, inhabit that land where it so happened to be resources, but he violently took it away. And that's been the track record of the so-called white man. All right. Since, <laughs> since he's been in power. All right. Anything that he sees that he wants, he's going to attempt to go get it. You know, he can't just let people, you know, uh, uh, dwell and be successful. You know, he wants a piece of that. You know, you can't dwell separately, you know, have your own thing going on and just be a thriving economy without letting him in on on a piece of the pie. Then when you try to, you know, say, you know, do deal, do a deal with him. You know, when you try to uh, when you attempt to, you know, have him, um, you know, do business with him, so to speak, he, he burns you and then he takes the whole he tries to attempt to take the whole thing. All right. Rather than, you know, like work together and it be a fair, a fair exchange. No, he's trying to figure out how to uh, how to backdoor you. But jumping down, it says that fullness of his sufficiency. So the point being his sufficiency and the fullness, he's trying to make himself full. OK, he's trying to basically take over everything he wants or he wants all the oil. He wants all every resource, everything that you can think of. He wants all the all the uh, humans, you know, under his authority. Because the scriptures even say, uh, what does it say? He um, uh, he heapeth all people unto himself. Okay. So with that, let's go to uh, Habakkuk two. And six, it says, shall, uh, let me see. Yeah. Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Okay. Yeah, because all these other nations are going to basically turn their backs, which we just read in Job as well. But they're going to... um you know, basically, uh, uh, stand up for themselves at some point and team up and say, you know what? We're not, we're not dealing with this ish anymore, man. You know, we want, you know, we just going to take you out of power. All right. Because, you know, you've tried to bully your way. You know, it's just that big bully that, that goes around trying to take everyone's lunch money, you know, because, you know, he don't have his own, <laughs> you know, but he just wants to, you know, just going around effing with everybody, you know. But eventually those, those, you know, eventually those same ones grow up. Because you read Joel 3 and 9, it goes into um, how the weaker nations become strong. You know, and so eventually those kids grow up. Or, you know, even um, you watch that movie Friday. You know, eventually the whole neighborhood teams up, <laughs> you know, and they and they, you know, they take out the bully together, you know. So, you know, that big, bad bully, you know, will be taken out and, and you know, like Friday, you know, Craig took a brick. But in this case, that brick is going to be with America. That brick is going to be nuclear destruction. All right. And America's going to get knocked the F out, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm being funny, but uh, 
that's true though. You know, America's gonna get is gonna get knocked out. It's gonna get laid out, laid flat, desolate, as the scriptures say. All right. Now it says, um, you know, the point being, him that increase, increases that which is not his. So he's greedy. Okay, he's greedy. All right. Shall not verse seven. Shall not they rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee. And, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. So yeah, they're going to spoil. I keep going. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and the, of the city and of them, uh, of all that dwell therein. So once again, this is talking about Esau, the so-called white man. All right. And he has spoiled many nations. He's robbed a lot of nations of their resources, man. You know, still going on today. He did it back then. He's doing it. To, he's still doing it today. He needs his hands on everything. You know, that greed and he will never be satisfied. He cannot. He cannot be satisfied. And that's how the flesh works. He's a carnal man. Esau is not spiritual, but that's how the flesh works. When you live according to the flesh and carnality, it's a never ending um, cycle of you you want something you get it it gets old and you want more you want more and more and more you know you get something nah I need I gotta take it a step further I need more I need this I need that you know so you know that's the nature that's the nature of the so called white man he cannot be satisfied you know This is uh, Psalms 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And he's called many, he's called lands after, you know, after he sets up shop and, you know, takes over that land, you know, he calls the street names and regions after after his own name america 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 vespucci vespucci however you say it but um you know these are examples of how the so-called white man basically uh you know took over these you know these different regions man and let's say he doesn't necessarily change the name he will change the whole economy you know he'll change everything about it you know, he'll change, you know, the whole the whole economy, the whole flow. He'll get all the resources, suck all the resources and, you know, take it out of there, man. You know, but, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to speak on that video and do a reply on it. You know, um, Lord willing, you were edified. And I'm going to end off by giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom.